Okay, we're here for a TMI tag. It's a tag that I saw on YouTube. I think it was probably earlier this year, but I wasn't doing YouTube this year earlier, so I didn't start till September. So I thought it'd be kind of a cool thing for us to do, for me and Brad to do. So we're gonna hurry up and do it because there's like 50 questions, I think. So, okay. No chit chatting bullshit. We're just gonna do it. <laughs> What are you wearing? You want me to go first? I don't care. Okay, I'm wearing just a t-shirt. Air Postal t-shirt and I'm wearing my boxers. Do I have to say what I'm wearing? Well, yeah, it's part of the question. I'm wearing just my boxers for the time being. Okay, just his boxers. Ever been in love? Mm, yeah. I think so. I think so. <laughs> yes, of course I have. With this okay. sexy man right here. Ever had a terrible breakup? Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I did. I had a really bad breakup. How tall are you? I'm whole five five. I'm five nine. You're not that much taller than me, really. No. How much okay. do you weigh? That would be one thirty five for me. Can I say when we first got together? <laughs> if you want to. I have marriage weight on me, so I don't want to say <laughs> marriage weight. Where did my marriage wait at then? I'm 198. Any tattoos? Uh, yes, I have three. Three tattoos. No. Yes, you do. I have three yeah, tattoos. Right there. Hello. I have three tattoos. Any piercings? Um, right now, just my ears. But I used to have my septum, both my eyebrows, I have my tongue, I have my labrae. Oh, no, wait. My ears and my nipple. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> my nipple. I used to have both my nipples. I just have my ears and one of my nipples right now. How about you? I have no piercings. I used to have my tongue done, though. Okay. OTP. Which I wrote down because I didn't know what it means. It means one true pairing, supposedly. Which I don't know what that means. I guess who you think should be together. Mm. So, I... I guess that would be us. We're a one true pairing, right? Yes. Okay. Favorite show? I think that's easy for both of us. Big Brother. Big Brother. Big Brother, all the way. Okay. I will be on that one day. One day I will be on Brad auditioned. He auditioned for Big Brother one time, but he didn't make it, so maybe one of these days he'll make it. And he can win us $500,000 so I can quit my job. Favorite bands? Um, it says favorite band, but I will say. No, it says favorite bands. Bands. Uh, well, Kiss is one of my favorite bands. I'm a big Kiss fan. Um, that's probably my favorite. I have just a bunch of different other ones I like. Uh, I don't really have a favorite bands, but I have a favorite band or. A favorite artist. I listen oh, to country. It? There's not very many bands in country. Oh, there's all kinds of bands in country. That I like. Okay. So well, I'd have to skip that one. Well, okay. It's bands. A favorite artist, of course, is for Reba me. Reba McIntyre. Yeah, Reba for, for him and Janet Jackson for me. I'm a huge Janet Jackson fan. I've seen all her concerts. I have all her albums. And she needs to release a new album anytime now because it's been since 2008. She's way overdue. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It'll be almost seven years since she's had a new album. Something you miss. I miss my father greatly. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. His dad died in 2003. Mine died in 2004. So, And a little history about us. My dad's name was Larry. His dad's name was Larry. And they died of both the same cancer from lung cancer and a year apart, and almost exactly a year apart. Mm -hmm. 
favorite song? Mine would be Creep by Radiohead. Mine would be Cassie's Clown by Reba McIntyre. Okay. How old are you? 21. <laughs> uh, I wish. Actually, 38. I would be 42 years young. I'll be 43 in March. Zodiac sign. I'm a Pisces. I'm a Cancer. Quality you look for in a partner. Oh. I would say just... Um, that's a hard one. Like compassion, just compassionate. Truthful, loving. Personality is a big thing. Brett's got a really good personality and he's a really sweet person. Because you don't like cocky people. I hate cocky people. People. Peeper. People. <laughs> I'm definitely not a cocky peeper. And he's definitely not a flamer, and I can't stand flamers. Some people are just born that way, Brian. Favorite quote. Okay. I don't know if I should say this on here. That's okay. It's TMI, so if the kids are watching, might want to tell them to go to the other room. What's your favorite quote? You don't have the right tools. Okay. My quote is Screw them if they can't take a joke for Mama Mia. I don't know if I should explain mine or not. Some people might get it though. Favorite actor? Um, this one. Hmm. I don't know if I have a favorite actor. Um. I like different ones. I don't know if I really have a favorite actor. I have a favorite actress, but I don't know about actor. I would say probably maybe Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. I like Robin Williams too. Jim Carrey. Yeah, I like Jim Carrey too. Favorite color? I would say for mine is maroon. I love maroon. Maroon or burgundy or maroon. Kind of the same thing. Mine's green. Yeah, an orange for you. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on a second. My arm is hurting me. I had to switch arms. Okay. Loud music or soft music? I would have to say both. I like it loud, but I like it soft. I like both, too. Depends on my mood. I'd say both. How about both? Where do you go when you're sad? Where do I go when I'm sad? Mm. Under the bed. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. That one's kind of a weird question, I think. Maybe to my room? To the bedroom, maybe? I'm just sad wherever. Really. I don't care if people see if I'm sad. How long does it take you to shower? Me, uh, wait, five minutes, first. Brett, two hours. Uh-uh. I take about 15 minutes to shower. Really? Okay. 15 to 20, just depends. Sometimes I just like to, st I love long, hot showers. So I can just stand under the hot water, like, forever. Feels so good. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Uh, five about, minutes. Uh, about 10 minutes for me. Whatever. He's full <laughs> of shit, guys. Okay. 45 minutes to... 45 minutes to an hour. How about that? Believe what you want to believe. Ever been in a physical fight? Mm, I can't say I have, no. 
I've been in a lot. When I was 21, I used to go to the bars just to start fights because I loved to fight. He was a bad boy. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Turn on. Turn on? I thought of one. I would have to say piercings and tattoos. Well, not really piercings necessarily, but tattoos and beards. Hmm. Tattoos? Beards. Mine would be... Someone smile. And Brett has a big, cute smile. Turn offs. Uh, mine would be probably smoking. Smoking. Smoking's and... a number one for me too, but um, someone that looks like they don't take care of themselves at all, for sure. Yeah, and cockiness, real cocky guys. Yeah. If you're cocky, forget it. The reason I joined YouTube, I didn't join YouTube. My lovely husband did. Yeah, I joined YouTube. I joined YouTube because, of course, I love candles, so I saw all these other candle reviewers, and I thought, you know, I kept telling Brad, I think I want to do my own YouTube channel, and I can do candle reviews, and candle hauls and all that stuff so now I finally did it now I'm doing candle reviews candle hauls doing vlogs all that fun stuff and I love it it's fun fears okay my arms hurt again I'm holding this camera here this whole time okay when... um I have probably a couple I say I'm I have a fear of heights really bad I hate heights I can't even get up on a ladder. If I get up on a ladder, my hands start sweating really bad. And it's cute. But I don't mind going on bridges, which is weird. But, and then I kind of have a fear of dying too, somewhat. Even though I know it's, you know, it all happens eventually. My biggest fear is snakes. Yes, definitely. I'm very afraid of snakes. Very much so. Oh, and I have a fear of throwing up, too. There's a name for that, a fear of throwing up. I looked it up, and I can't remember the name of it because I hate throwing up with a passion. I will do anything possible not to throw up. Even if, like, I have a stomach flu, I'll sit there and fight it and fight it and fight it just so I won't throw up. Even though I know I probably feel better if I throw up, but I hate throwing up. Last thing that made you cry. <sighs> I don't remember. Mine was in July when my cousin that just turned 37 on her birthday found out that she has brain cancer and we are really close. Yeah. I can't remember what last time I cried. Actually, I think it might have been when I made my last, my, uh, my last vlog, Vlogmas. Uh, the one where I went to just, it was Vlogmas day 20, let's see. 28 when I went to mom's for Christmas dinner and I made the little video with the family eating dinner and I made the music with it That was kind of sad. I got a little teary-eyed Because we we all don't see each other enough We only go to my mom's about every I probably see most of my family maybe like during Christmas That's probably about the only time I see a lot of my family is about on Christmas and maybe once during the summer Maybe if my mom has a cookout other than that I don't really see my family all that much on my mom's side anyway Last time you said you love someone. Just a few minutes ago when we told our son Marco goodnight and I told my niece goodnight and love yeah. you to both of them. Yeah, that's that was true. Same for me. Our niece is staying the night tonight. Yeah, and Marco and the kids just went to bed. Meaning behind your YouTube name. Uh, well, that'd be me and it's my name. I know a lot of people, I created my channel with my YouTube that I had before, and I know a lot of people have created their own names, a different name that's not their own name, because I guess they don't want their own name revealed, but I don't know. I guess somebody might hate me and come find me and kill me or something, I don't know if they know my real name, but 
I just kept my own real name. I thought about changing it to a different name. I thought about maybe, I considered was it Wax Crusader. Mm -hmm. I thought about that name for quite a while, but then I couldn't figure out how to change it. So I just left it my first and last name. So everybody knows my first and last name now. So I think I'm, I think I'm okay. I hope, hope I don't get to no, no real big bad enemy out there. Last book you read. It's terrible, but I hate to read books. I don't read books at all. I did when I was younger, but unless it's really something I'm interested in, I, I don't read books that much because I fall asleep really bad. It was probably a kid's book I read to one of the kids. Mine was Cars to Ralphie. Probably. He loves that book. Mm -hmm. The book you're currently reading, I'm not. I don't read unless it's to the kids. Yeah. I don't either. Last show you watched. Last show? I haven't watched a show for a while. Big now that Brother. We, <laughs> yeah. Now that we have kids, we have four kids right now. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, if that's considered a show. The TV show on TV, actually. I think I watched an episode of Big Bang Theory, like a couple of days ago, maybe. I think... We were watching YouTube videos. Marco was watching some Vine videos on YouTube earlier tonight, if that's considered a show, I guess. Last person you talked to. Well, excuse me, guys. I talked to Marco and Kaylin in there before we went to bed. Yeah, Marco, Kaylin, and Brad, of course. The relationship between you and the person you last texted. Uh, that would be my mom. I texted her earlier tonight. And of course, my relationship is she's my mom. Mine would be our friend Amanda and Ryan, which is my brother-in-law's best friend and his wife. I just texted her a little bit ago. What'd you text her for? I text the wrong person, so... <laughs> I meant to text our neighbor Amanda, and I text her instead, and then she started carrying on a conversation. Um, favorite food? Mexican food. Same here, Mexican. I love Mexican. Gotta eat it every day. Place you want to visit? Hawaii. Yeah, I want Hawaii too. Hawaii, I want to go to New York. I haven't been to New York. And Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Um, New York would be cool too. Any place like exotic, like, you know, any tropical island. Bahamas, wherever. What's that Mexican? The what's the place Chrissy and them all went to? Uh, that was in Texas. Yeah. That was, uh, um, Corpus Christi. No, it was some other place. Oh. I forget. But any place tropical and warm, because I don't like cold at all. So I love any type of beach, beach warm, ocean place. Okay. Excuse me, guys. I gotta switch arms again. Okay. Last place you were? Uh, besides home? That the living be, room? <laughs> well, here at home, be, after here, where did we leave before here? Where were we last? I went to go pick up the kids from yeah, daycare. We were, yeah, Brad went to the kids. Before that, we went to... Uh, Brad went to daycare before we came home. I was at... Um, Look at my crazy hair. <laughs> can tell I've had a beanie on all day. It's got hat hair. I went, we went to get hair stuff, gel for uh, my hair at the place where Brad gets a discount for his hair stuff. Oh. Do you have a crush? Yeah, but don't tell him. His name's Brad Parker, but don't tell him. He's pretty hot. Yeah. I think we all have crushes. Yes, or Adam crush. Levine. <laughs> so is that your uh, Adam Levine? Is your uh, what do you call that? Your uh, what is that called? Your my, cheat. Your uh, what's that called? My free cheat. Yeah, your free cheat is called something else, I think. Free cheat. Mm. His is uh, Adam Levine and somebody else. Uh, mine is 
Justin Timberlake and yeah, Adam Levine and Justin Timberlake too. And Derek Huff from Dancing with the Stars. He's yeah. pretty freaking fine. The last time you kissed someone. Hmm. Or send Marco goodnight. I guess so, yeah. Me too. Last time you were insulted. I don't know about that. I haven't been insulted for a while. I guess maybe the last time somebody disliked one of my videos on YouTube. I, don't I can't know. remember. Not that I really care. Oh. It doesn't it doesn't bother me, but mine was a couple of months ago. This lady, this client at work, she doesn't like that I'm gay. Favorite mm. flavor <laughs> of sweet. I don't eat much sweets. Believe it or not, I might be fat and gain a lot of weight, but I don't eat much sweets at all. Uh, I think mine would be vanilla. I think my uh, biggest downfall for my weight is my sweet tea. Yeah. Okay. What instruments do you play? I don't play any instruments. I played bass guitar a while back. Probably about 15 years ago or so, but that's about it. Haven't played it for a long time. <sighs> Excuse me. Favorite piece of jewelry? I just have to say my wedding band. Wedding ring, that's about the only thing. Oh, and my, well, my plugs. I need to get some new ones. I'm looking for some with stars in I the middle. Hate plugs. Hey. I hate plugs. You like my plugs and you know it. Brad doesn't want me. I wanted to get a bigger plug to if he gets I a have, bigger plug he better be packing his shit and getting out i have zero gauge i want to go to zero zero just one step bigger but brad says no but i think he'll like it he just doesn't no. want to admit that he'll like it no i and think I they're I gross a little and nasty the star and the little plug last sport you played huh. hmm. I don't do sports at all. So the only sport I think I've ever done in my life would be maybe bowling. And that was like when I was in ninth grade. Well, that would be like the last sport you played would probably be when Daniel and yeah. his ex-wife was mm -hmm. still married and we all played softball. Probably, yeah. I kind of somewhat Me, played that. Um, I don't know if you really call it a sport, but I was playing catch with the kids with the football here a while back. Marco likes to play catch with the football and stuff. The last song you sang. I don't remember. I sing along to the radio all the time, so yeah, I don't remember. We were singing all night there earlier. I think it was, uh, I don't know. I think Iggy, Iggy Azalea earlier. Excuse me, guys. I can't remember. Favorite chat up line. I don't. I don't know what that means exactly. It doesn't mean just like to, to what you if you're chatting with somebody like online or something. I don't know. Just like what's up. I always say hey, how's it going? What chat up line did you use with me? Because we met online in the chat room. You look freaking hot. I think you <laughs> are sure it wasn't. Are you a top or bottom? <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't that. <laughs> okay. It wasn't. I don't think it was. But we did meet online. <laughs> Have you ever used it? Used what? I don't know. It just says, Have you ever used it? I think that means a chat up line. Um, well, yeah. I've never had a pickup line or anything like that. I'm just me, and I just talk to everybody, so. I mean, if you're Whatever. chatting, you say, how are you doing? I guess you've used that before. guess so. Last time you hung out with anyone. Today. Today. With Mom and Aunt Shirley. Mom, Aunt Shirley, Margo. We all went shopping. And errands. Um, last but not least... Who should answer these questions next? I want 
Angela. I just love Angela. She's so sweet. Yeah. She is. We got to meet you, girl, because I know you're going to watch this, and we got to meet you. You seem really cool. I say whoever. Whoever wants to do it can do it. Because it's, it's a pretty cool thing to do. Um, there's 50 questions, so it takes a little, to a little while, but just something fun and different to do. So if you want to do it, feel free to go ahead and do it. I think we should make new ones, make it a little bit more dirtier or something. Yeah, I know. I saw it was a TMI. Because I, I was thinking TMI. Oh, yeah. they're going to ask some good questions. Yeah, so pretty much the only kind of TMI-ish question would probably be, what are your turn-ons and turn-offs? Other than that, it wasn't too much information type questions. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? Oh, God. Oopsie. Okay. All right, so that's it. We're going to go to bed. We're tired. We have four kids. We get worn out. And I have to get up early and go to work in the morning. Yeah. But I okay. am, since it's New Year's Eve, I was trying to be the nice boss and let everybody get off early so they can go home and get ready. Why I go home, get ready to catch some Z's to bring in the new year because my lovely husband has to work. Yeah, I have to work. Nine o'clock. That's okay with me because I don't go out on New Year's Eve. I never have, never plan on it. I've been to my sister's twice on New Year's Eve and I stayed the night both nights, both times. So I don't like to drive on New Year's Eve. It's a lot of crazies out there. If we do do anything, it's usually just home, hanging out at home. We have people over or something or just do whatever. All right. Old fogies. All right, so that is it for our TMI tag. If you want to do it, feel free to do it. And please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye.